Hi, I'm Jill Wellington, and I'm back to show you how to spruce up your fall photos. We're in the thick of color here in Michigan, and this picture I took of this nice barn is pretty. It has a lot of color in it, but actually it's all one color. It's just yellow, and I'd like to have some reds and some oranges to make this look even prettier than this is. So what I did was, first of all, I ran an action on this and did any kind of editing work that I wanted done on this. So this is all prepared beforehand. You can use whatever action or any kind of additional editing that you want to do, do it before you do this method. Now, first of all, we're going to go down to this little circle that's half black and half white and we're going to add an adjustment level layer I'm sorry and it's the hue saturation click on this and you're going to get this little dialog box that pops up and you're going to want to go here where it says master we're going to click on this and in the drop down menu we're going to click on yellows and now this is going to be very simple we're just going to use this hue little slider here. We're going to go to the left. I want you to watch the picture and look at these leaves are now suddenly turning orange. And if you keep going with the slider, there they turn red. And now they're hot pink and they're purple. So really you can change it to any hue you want, but since it's fall, we're going to want to keep it in the orange and red tones. So I'm just going to move this until I really actually like that orange color. Now we can actually brush this orange off of the different trees that we don't want to be orange. And we can use this layer mask that's already in our hue saturation layer. And since it's white, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna get a black brush by toggling back and forth with this little arrows. You want the black one on top go up and click on your brush tool and you want a soft brush click on that and at a hundred percent opacity I'm gonna now paint this off enlarging my brush using my right bracket key if you need to make your smaller use your left bracket key and those bracket keys are next to the P key on your computer keyboard and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this orange off this is actually the um, adjustment that you made with that slider. Doesn't that look pretty? Because that yellow tree is actually really pretty. The only tree I want to be orange in this photo is this little tree. So I'm going to actually get rid of it off of this tree because we're going to make that one red. But I don't want it in this grass. I don't want it on that barn. Get it off of this wheat in the field. Maybe off of these background trees. But look how pretty that one little tree is going to remain orange. I actually went over that and now it's back to yellow. If you want to get the orange back, just go over here, get your white brush, make my brush a little smaller. I can go in here and make these branches, turn them back into orange. But you know, a little variation in the tree is also really pretty because, you know, trees naturally change at a different pace. All, all the leaves may not be this color. So go ahead and X out of this dialog box. Go up here with your right mouse click and now click on flatten image. Now we're going to go down and grab another hue adjustment, sat hue saturation level. Go ahead and click on that again. Same dialog box. We're going to go where it says master. Click on that. Now click on yellows. And with our hue slider again, I'm going to my left, and now I want to turn it into red. And isn't that a beautiful fall red? And I'm going to make this tree that color. So once again, I'm, I'm going to click on my layer mask up in my hue saturation layer. Go over, grab my black brush. We're still on the brush. So I can go ahead and enlarge my brush here, and I'm going to paint this off of this tree. So I want to keep this one yellow. I think that's pretty yellow. So now we're going to have three different color of trees in this picture, all created by us. I'm going to go back in and kind of yellow up this again. You want to look at the other things in your picture to make sure that your adjustment didn't affect them, and you can very easily brush it off with your layer mask. And there you have it. Now we go ahead and X out of this and we can flatten this image. But look at the dramatic difference compared to the original. 
that's kind of drab now that you, that you look at it and look at it. Oh yeah, I love all the different color options that you can do with this method. So go ahead and have fun sprucing up your fall photos.